Hi everybody, welcome to the Tambu Lounge right here on my back deck. I'm going to show you today how to make Lapu Lapu. You know what that drink is. It's the one that you see in the Polynesian Resort at Walt Disney World. People are walking around drinking it out of a pineapple. That's it. That's the one and we're going to make it today. Alright, let's start off. So, we're going to have two parts dark rum. So let's talk about this for a second. Dark rum, spiced rum, you can use whichever you want to. But what do they mean when you're looking at a drink recipe and it says a part? What is that? Well, it's a ratio, right? So you have one part. I'm using a jigger today. A jigger, and that's, this is a shot up at the top. You could use a shot glass. If you were making a punch for a whole bunch of people, you could, your one part could be a cup. So just depends on what you're making, but just keep the ratios, what the recipe says. So it's two parts, dark rum, that's one, two, maybe just a smidge more there with a splash. Then we're going to do two parts pineapple juice, just use any kind of pineapple juice that you like. Here again, another two parts. Two, and you're going to get extra pineapple flavor when you if you use a real pineapple. And we're going to do three parts orange juice. Now make sure when you're using your orange juice, you're not using the kind with the pulp in it. I mean, if that's all you've got on hand, I don't want you running out to the grocery store in these times just to grab some non-pulp orange juice. But if you're making this after the coronavirus is over, uh, get some no-pulp orange juice. It'll be better. And then we're going to do one part sweet and sour mix. There's all different kinds of brands. I just happened to grab this one. This is going to give us a little bit of a tang and a little bit of sourness. And it's just one part. This is just a mixer so there's no alcohol in it. So now, you're basically, you're almost done. But we're going to shake it up with some ice. So, you can use a fancy shaker if you've got one. You can use this, or guess what? I learned this on the Disney Cruise Line. You can take two glasses that are just about the same size, invert one inside the other, and use that as your shaker, just like that. Hi everybody, let's talk about the pineapple, which is an integral part of the Lapu Lapu. So you may wonder when you see these pineapples sitting there in the grocery store, how do I know which one's the best? Well, first off, it has an absolutely nothing to do with the color, believe it or not. Color means nothing when it comes to a pineapple. What you want to do is you want to take one of the leaves in the very top and you want to pull it out. And if it pulls out really easily, it means it's probably ripe. The other thing you can do is Give it the old sniff test, just like you would with a melon. If it smells like a pineapple, it's probably ripe. So, I picked this one today at our local grocery store, and I'm gonna show you how to core it so you can actually pour your Lapu Lapu in there once you make it, all right? So here's how we're gonna start off. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is to cut the top off of the pineapple, and that's pretty simple. You just go, bang! <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I've already cut mine. So what you're gonna do, is you're going to turn it down on its side and I'm going to be because the camera I'm shooting it left-handed and you're going to cut through right about there so and you can save the top you know what you can plant this and grow your own pineapple <laughs> all right then sit your pineapple up and then you're going to see your core in there and so you want to take a long sharp knife if you need to you can use a set long serrated knife as well problem with this knife is it's too long so if I go all the way down on this one I'm actually cutting a hole in the bottom of my pineapple and I don't want to do that so this is the knife I chose to use and you just slide it in there and you just go around your pineapple so you're just coring it out it can help you to spin it some so once you go around I went around a couple of times actually just to kind of get it down in there then you're going to cut across right there in the middle of your core. Alright. 
cut it down in there like that. And then you're going to want to use a spoon and you're going to work on getting this coconut out. Okay, look how juicy and ripe that is. See, I told you it was a juicy one. You're just going to use your spoon and go around and kind of cut it off and pull it out of there. And you're going to keep on doing this until you get your pineapple completely cored out. All right. And that one's so maybe you've got one that's kind of getting a little bit hard to get out. You can always use a knife to get that tidbit out. And then you may want to go back down in there and kind of make sure you got your cuts all the way down in there. Okay, so if you have a core, they do make a pineapple core, and that would be great. Then you could just use that and it would be a lot easier, but you know. Now as you start doing this, pineapple juice is going to come out naturally. So just pull a glass out of the pantry or the cupboard and pour it out as it comes out so it's not in your way. And then go back to using your spoon to get more pineapple out. And that's how you do it. That's how you core a pineapple. Now if you watch the pineapple video, you know that I've already cored this out. So my pineapple. Freshly made lapu lapu. I'm gonna pour it in, and then they always finish it off with one shot of Bacardi rum on top. Oh yeah! As if that wasn't enough. Grab your favorite straw. Mmm, and enjoy. Aloha, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>